Salutations ladies and germs, my name is Mr. Fox and welcome back to Destiny 2 and today we are going to be looking at the Krite Auto Rifle. Another new weapon that was added with the Witch Queen. We got 62 in the magazine, 720 RPM, 54 reload, 50 handling, 71 stability, 40 range, and 18 impact. In terms of perks, we got the Vice Stinger, damaging an enemy with this weapon has a small chance to reload the magazine and increase movement speed while ADSing. We also have Adagio, after defeating a target this weapon fires, charges or draws more slowly and deals increased damage for a brief period of time. We also have Overflow, picking up special or heavy ammo automatically loads this weapon beyond its normal capacity. In terms of the magazine, I don't really have many good options. We have extended mag for really big mag. We have alloy mag for fast reload, but it's a rapid fire frame. That reload stat, it doesn't really matter. In terms of the barrel, we have chamber compensator, increased stability, recoil, and the cost of some handling. That's why we are going with polygonal rifling for more stability. Now, every game I've used this auto in so far, it has underperformed completely. It is just... Maybe with a better barrel. I'm pretty sure you can't craft this one, though. Just gonna stand in the nade. Okay. Though, if you can only craft two 720 autos, that's a little sad. And on top of my range issues, and my flinch issues, my PS5 controller has decided that now's the time it wants to start crapping out on its random drift. Specifically, just suddenly spazzing out and going to the right. Or left. Which tends to involve me no longer aiming at the target, but dead air beside their face. Two for one. Triple down. I need a hunter like you with a red cap. It did not help that they were all spawning there. And you may have thought by now, Mr. Fox, did you finally upgrade your fusion? And I keep forgetting to do that, so no. And of course, in the one game we're not doing terrible with the auto, it's most likely going to be a mercy. I've seen enough. <laughs> He's like, I'm right behind him, but I'm not going to melee this warlock for you. I'm going to let you die instead. Because I can. A well -fought victory. Fucking crayon eater. <laughs> Your victory ah, is the come on. Is it every time I do a little well, it's like, you know what? No. This has to end right now. But in games where we're being brutalized with like an identical score. Shaq's is like, you know what, I think they can come back. Let's play this out. And it never ends well. But it's Enemy probably my so least favorite map in the entire sense. game. So there's just no winning with the uh, RNG of map selections. You know, like, you're fucked. Either way, not in the fun way. It's never the fun way. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Oh. 
I thought you were the dude I was chasing earlier! Fuck! God, you're one of them. I saw what you were attempting to do. I saw you switch to that hand cannon. You were gonna die because he whiffed your hand cannon shot. You had a crayon eater backing you up, sketchy crayon eaters. Don't you have Crayolas to go finish? And it did the drift again. I, I barely use this controller. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, the majority of my gaming's done on BC, I don't understand how my controller could get so fucked up with minimal use. I'm convinced these things are not made to last. But with Adagio going, that's like what, five extra damage? Four? Normally does 21 to the head before damage fall off kicks in. All of that hitting him not result in a kill? <laughs> I really need to upgrade my fusion man. Like, I haven't touched this thing since I crafted it and did that one video. I think I was going to let you live, hmm? The game's like, you're engaged with this one person, but a crayon eater is going to run past your screen, so you're going to automatically disengage from the target you're about to kill, focus on the crayon. That's what that that's who you wanted to aim at, right? 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 You didn't want to kill that dude that was trying to murder you, right? What the fuck? Strong star. Fight on. Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> I love my enhanced radar. So, oh. Oh, I'm dead. I'm just dead. <laughs> you cheesy little bitch. Fucking hate Titans, man. <laughs> They're always popping their bubble. Like, every. The amount of times I'm about to kill a Titan, he's like, oh, bubble. It's never for, like, any sort of objective they're doing it. It's, like, either for heavy. I mean, I get it, but come on. Game's out of reach.
victory. I really hate this auto rifle. You could give I do. Like, it's just... Eh. It's a whole lot of meh. I only use it in PvE because I got nothing else to use. <laughs> like, it's decent in PvE. PvP! Let's see if we can actually craft something. No, we cannot craft it. So you're gonna have to rely purely on RNGesus if you want a better roll on your trite. Which... Do you? Do you, do you really want a better one? I mean, I mean, it's not doing much for you. It's really not. Anyways, if for whatever reason you want a better roll on the crites, pretty sure it's like a world drop or just random drop from anywhere in the game. I don't know why you would want it, as it seemed like we were getting outranged by the funnel web. Like in PvE, Overflow, Adagio, Extended Mag, very useful. PvP, you never see Overflow coming into play. <laughs> and our mag is like... If we could have gotten, I don't know, Extended Barrel here, that would have been great. For PvP, probably want Acherized, or Ricochet, whichever it can get then I have no idea what other perks can go here. If Perpetual Motion? Perpetual Motion would be great. Adagio, I honestly don't mind on the rapid fire frame since it doesn't really slow down its firing speed a whole lot. And the damage bonus, pretty nice. That said, it's Easier to get a Sweet Sorrow. I'm just saying, if you can craft the Sweet Sorrow, you're probably better off just getting a Sweet Sorrow because you know for a fact it can get Perpetual Motion. And Acherized. And a good barrel. Sure, Turnabout's useless, but you could probably replace that with something not so useless. Land Tank, also kind of pointless. Maybe not, never mind. You get a buff to your resilience and damage resistance. I don't know if that's actually going to work in the Crucible, because I did notice it was popping up in some of the videos. Like when I was recording, I saw land tank go up. But I don't know if it actually applies that damage resistance. Or if that's strictly PvE. If that's the case, you're probably better off just using Sweet Sorrow on PvE over the crate. Because... Like, in high-end shit, you're gonna want that damage resistance. Versus... Yeah, but the Glaive. Man, I love my Glaive in PvE. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day, and stay classy.